Are Macs really overpriced compared to Windows PCs and laptops? This is a question that many people ask themselves when they're first looking for a new computer. It seems like the Mac versus PC battle has been going on for years now, but there are lots of factors to consider when choosing between the two, including price, performance, features, and software. There are different types of Mac computers, such as the Mac Mini, the Mac Pro, the Mac Studio, the iMac, and laptops in the MacBook Pro and MacBook Air. Each one has its own features, design, and price range. Unlike the six Macs that are available, there are loads of different brands and models of Windows PCs and laptops, which depending on your outlook can make deciding which computer you want more difficult, or it gives you a greater choice in terms of hardware components, sizes, and shapes to choose from, from the very budget to the ultra expensive computers. But some enjoy this customization where you can choose from different hardware components depending on your budget. If you were to lay down all the different types of Windows PCs and laptops with all the Macs and averaged all the prices, and you'll probably find that Macs are more expensive than PCs, but don't let that fact inform your decision because there are some exceptions at the lower end of the mark, such as Apple's cheapest Mac in the Mac Mini, which is seen by some as the gateway to Mac OS. And it was actually, in fact, my first Mac. As a person that has used and still uses Windows PCs more often than I use Macs, I feel that one of the main advantages of Macs is that they are more user friendly and have a more simple interface compared to Windows PCs and laptops. And with the recent updates to Mac OS, if you do have an iPhone or iPad, then you'll find the interface very familiar to iOS and iPad OS, which Mac OS has been made to be more like, allowing it to appeal to users who just want to get their work done without distraction. Now, while you do hear less about Macs getting hacked they aren't completely safe to use if you were to open the wrong email then it doesn't matter what operating system or pc or laptop you're using the higher level of security and stability that macs offer combined with the fewer malware and other security issues and vulnerabilities compared to windows is partly down to the macs having that lower market share and because of its unix based architecture another benefit of macs is that they have the edge in media editing and other creative tasks thanks to their integrated applications which can be used in the base macs like the Mac Mini or the MacBook Airs, all the way up to the top of the class Macs like the Mac Pro and the MacBook Pros. Obviously, the experience with the higher end Macs will be more smoother and more refined, but because Apple make the hardware and software of these computers, they are able to achieve a better and consistent operating system and hardware integration resulting in being able to optimize macOS based on the specs of the hardware components. So they're able to maintain high, seamless, efficient performance for extended periods without compromising functions, keeping the CPU temperatures lower than most Windows laptops while pulling the least amount of power and generating very little noise. If you're in the market for a long lasting laptop, the new generation Apple Silicon MacBooks powered by their M chips have a longer battery life compared to the Windows laptops. Once again, thanks to their efficient processors and optimized software. And you often find that the price of the few Windows laptops that can almost reach the levels that you get with the Macs come at a premium price. But Macs do have some drawbacks. Yes, they are more expensive than Windows PCs and laptops, which may be steep for some users, especially if you want to upgrade them or buy accessories. And because the hardware and software are made by Apple, it means that Mac OS is inherently attached to the Mac computer, meaning that some of the hardware components such as the CPU or RAM cannot be upgraded easily after you've made the purchase and had it for some time. Just look if you're specking up a Mac purchase online, just how much of a premium it adds to the cost when you just want to improve the GPU, memory or storage. Another disadvantage is that they have fewer third-party programs than Windows PCs and laptops, which means you might not be able to find the software or games that you want to use, which sometimes means having a Windows PC may be the only option for you. Looking at this from the Windows point of view, one of the main advantages of Windows PCs and laptops is that they offer more customization and flexibility than Macs at both time of purchase and in upgrades after you've purchased it. You can choose from many hardware components to customize your computer according to your needs and preferences in a whole variety of sizes, shapes, colors, and prices. And if you're a gamer, then in the current state of macOS, having a Windows PC or laptop should be your only choice because A, they are generally going to be better for gaming and B, nearly all games are gonna be compatible with the appropriately specced Windows PC or laptop. And the same goes for third-party applications because in Windows PCs, you're able to buy more powerful graphics cards, larger storage options, and benefit from that wider compatibility with games, applications, and accessories. And when your PC gets older and slower, you can upgrade it and prolong its life even further. 
However, Windows PCs and laptops also have some drawbacks. And this is probably a personal gripe because one of them is that they have more blocky and old school designs compared to Macs, which might not appeal to some people who prefer a sleeker and modern look. But that's me probably being a little bit biased. But hear me out. I prefer a laptop with a minimalistic and elegant design that focuses on simplicity and functionality. So which one is better for you? Macs or Windows PCs and laptops? Well, it depends on which you value more, user friendliness or customization, security or variety, design or compatibility, design or quality. There's no definitive answer to this question as both types of computers have their own strengths and weaknesses. The best thing to do is to compare the features, performance and prices of the different models and see which one suits your needs the best. If you like gaming, then there's an obvious choice. But if you're a content creator, then the choice becomes a little bit more challenging. I think from the Surface Macs are more expensive, but in terms of the overall package that you're getting, performance, battery life, design, the ecosystem that the computer lives in, which is definitely going to increase your productivity, that could be possibly the thing that justifies the price for some people. In terms of laptops, yes, I could get a cheaper Windows laptop, but am I going to sacrifice performance or battery life just to get a cheaper device? Let me know in the comments below what you prefer to use, or if you use both, then let me know what you primarily do on your Mac and what you do on your Windows PC. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech-related videos just like this one, and I'll see you in the next one.